everyone, and welcome to a very special episode of Lotus Chats, getting to know the Lotus Ladies. My name is Jennifer Rosales, and I am one of the lovely Lotus Ladies who you have all been able to meet uh, you know, via YouTube or via our Spotify podcast, Lotus Chat Worldwide. Welcome, welcome to all of you, and if this is your first time viewing one of our videos, uh, thank you so much for being here, and I highly encourage you to check out all of our podcast episodes on Spotify or YouTube when you have a chance, lots of great information there. And if there are any questions or any comments or anything that you would like us to discuss in a future episode, please do not hesitate to reach out to one of us uh, Lotus ladies at lotuschatworldwide at gmail.com or put it down in the comment section in any of our videos. We would love to hear from you and get your feedback as well as suggestions for future episodes. And uh, as I mentioned, my name is Jennifer Rosales, and um, this is my beautiful pup, Lola. She is actually a rescue that I got uh, over 10 years ago. She uh, was found on the street, and I have not been able to get myself away from her. She is just a doll, and uh, as an elderly pup, of course, you know, um, there are you know things that she's going through, but I'm going to be with her every step of the way. And to all of you who have rescued uh, an animal in the past or are doing it even today, thank you so much. Uh, I'm definitely a big proponent about going to your local shelter to find your next furry friend um, and family member. And uh, on today's episode, what I'm going to do is introduce myself as well as a little history of how I became a part of Lotus Chat. And starting off with the fact that uh, I actually started off with the Lotus Chat team. I met the lovely ladies who you've all met in our episodes week after week. And we bonded over common interests, uh, common issues that we um, wanted to discuss as well as common personal stories. And as a result, uh, we came together and we wanted to create something where we'd be able to support and empower fellow women throughout the world as well as uh, a platform where individuals can go to if there was an issue or topic that they too might have been dealing with and or had questions about. We want to make this an open platform, so please um, do reach out to us and uh, let us know what you think. Uh, and secondly, how do we come up with the Lotus Chat Worldwide name? So the Lotus Chat Worldwide name was an idea that stemmed from my love of what the lotus means to me. I found it such a powerful symbolism when we were um, throwing around names of how the lotus goes through the ground and the mud to get to the sun and just blooms so beautifully to the point where I just felt it was synonymous with the, with the um, experiences that humans go through when we go through those trials and tribulations of life and how when we finally get through, we succeed and we just see the sun and we see the brightness that the lotus just seemed like such a powerful symbol for our channel so that is how we added that and became Lotus Chat and worldwide is because we want to reach everyone in every corner of the globe so thank you all for being here and a little bit about me quickly <laughs> I am a college graduate of Loyola Marymount University and uh, I also uh, my degree was in art history and then I also have a degree in um, visual communications my AA so visual arts has been a very big part of my life growing up to where I definitely want to instill a love of the visual arts um, with my children in the future, as well as future generations um, everywhere. And I um, also have a very big love of the performing arts at a young age. I was a, became a classical dancer at the age of three and continued that for about 15 years. And ballet was uh, just something where I learned a lot of discipline, a lot of poise and grace, and just knowing the power of the mind and just how the body can really get so much from having a healthy routine and a stretch practice and uh, all, all of that. So it's very, very rewarding. And it is some, the performing arts also stemmed into um, choir. So I'm a classically trained singer. And a lot of that, I would say love came from the fact that my aunts who were my teachers outside of you know, the teachers I had at school were always wanting to expand my mind by having me do things that they felt would be enriching and help me both mentally and physically in my development. And so, which is why I'm a big proponent of the music and arts programs at schools. I really think that it is such an important part of the development of a child and a necess necessity. So um, 
if you are also a fellow proponent, thank you so much uh, for just realizing the importance of having that uh, outlet, uh, that channel for children to express themselves, whether through song, through music, through dance, through art. Thank you. And finally, um, I just would like to say that I um, am a first generation Mexican American who has a loving family and has been surrounded by animals her entire life. So I definitely have a love for all animals in general. And um, this love, this openness to wanting to learn and to just be there um, and spread the love, as they say, is something I hope to carry on through this channel. Um, if there is a book that I would like to recommend to everybody that I'm currently reading because I, I'm always out there expanding my mind as a result of the education that my aunt has taught me, you know, pick up a book, Jen, and pick up something that you wouldn't normally read. I really got into self-help quite a few years ago, uh, self-help books, and those have been really rewarding in so many ways. I'm currently reading The Untethered Soul and The Power of Now, excellent books. So please do pick those up. There are other books I would love to recommend. So if you would like um, any help in that arena, please uh, put a question down in the comment section or send us an email at Lotus Chat Worldwide. Any of the ladies would be able to give you a wonderful recommendation for that. And if there's a, a book that you just like to, you know, um, for your free time, just to kind of get lost in. I actually recommend the series um, by the author who wrote A Court of Thorn and Roses. It's a reimagining of the Beauty and Beast story. So that is a very fun read. And um, yeah, so I'd love to tell you more, but I thank you all for being here. And I definitely don't want to keep you. So thank you all for being here in this video. Much love. Please tune in next week and and just let us know what you think. And we hope to have, see you there in a future episode. Take care. Bye-bye.